YouTube, what's going on everybody? Jeans here, bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. In today's video, we're going to be using probably the least used starter in Gen 9. We got ourselves a Quack Ball team. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, definitely consider subscribing. It really goes a long way. Plus, you can stay up to date on all of my content. But like I said, Quackle Ball is that starter that you do not get to see that much. Granted, in Series 3, you don't see any really starters, but you get to see Meowskarada and Skelly. There's every here and there. But Quackle Ball has been a Pokemon that I haven't really seen since Series 1. So this one should be fun. Hopefully, we get the rock out with this team and grab ourselves some wins with it. But Gothitelle is going to be our first first Pokemon for today's team preview and got to tell this one's a bit different it is competitive ability it's not shadow tag it is competitive which is absolutely amazing gonna be good when you're going up against intimidate Pokemon such as Gyarados or even Arcanine this one has expert belt as its item rock and psychic terror blast shadow ball and protect Second Pokemon is going to be Screamtail. Screamtail is here to actually do some big time damage it's got play rough drain punch how for an attack boost and then protect got the booster energy and protosynthesis as its item and ability Third Pokemon on today's team is going to be my boy, the star of the show, the Duck Quackle Ball. Moxie with Leftovers, Aqua Step, Close Combat, Ice Spinner, and Detect. Really loving this moveset. You have Ice Spinner for coverage and to take out the reins, and then you have two crazy strong stab moves with Aqua Step and Close Combat. Grimstarl is in our fourth slot, and if you guys have been watching any of my competitive Pokemon gameplay, from Sword and Shield to Brilliant Diamond, Shine and Pearl to Scarlet and Violet. You guys know I absolutely love a light clay screens Pokemon. And Grimmsnarl is top of the game with that one. This one has Prankster, Spirit Break, Taunt, Reflect, Light Screen. Love this Pokemon so much. Love making my team super bulky. So we're going to be using that Pokemon a good bit in today's video. Fifth slot is going to be Chiyu, our only Legends of Ruins Pokemon on today's team. With the Beads of Ruin and the Life Form as item. It's got its normal move set of Heat Wave, Dark Pulse, Terror Blast, and Protect. Finally, our last Pokemon is going to be my boy Palafin, the lovely little dolphin. It's got Zero to Hero, Assault Vest, and then Wave Crash, Close Combat, Jet Punch, and Ice Punch for its moves. Guys, if you want to rent this team for yourself, rental code is at the top right-hand corner, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that ranked double ladder, look to grab some wins with this Series 3 Quackle Ball team. First match is on its way, and we're going up against a pretty tough team. You guys already know the Chiyu, Delibird, and Fluttermane combo is absolutely amazing, but they also have Golden Go, Roy Moon, and Mousehold. How should I play this one? How should I get after it? I'm kind of thinking of maybe leading like Quackle Ball, trying to get off some Aqua Steps, but I am scared of the Deli Bird, right? Deli Bird could definitely be a problem. We could go Grimmsnarl alongside with Assault Vest Palafin and maybe try to get Swap Turn 1, which could be pretty solid for us. I don't mind it. What's your Terror type? Probably Straight Water. It is Straight Water. So my problem here would just be the lead of Deli Bird. It is just a big time problem, but I definitely want to bring in Grimmsnarl here. I think Grimmsnarl could be that guy. I could also go in the Scream Tail because I believe Special Defense is rather high. And it is. And you're very bulky. You're just made for attack. You're looking actually really, really good. I kind of want to bring you in here. I kind of want to bring in Screamtail. But I definitely want to go Grimmsnarl. And I feel like having Palafin as a lead to swap it out is going to be powerful for us. We're also going to bring in Chiyu. And then last but not least, I could go Gothitelle with Chiyu. I don't think that's too bad. But I'm kind of leaning towards just throwing Quackle Ball on the team. Because, you know, it's Quackle Ball. And I love this duck so much. So we're going to be rocking out with that Pokemon. Looking for a win here in match number one. But uh, something I forgot to mention with the team preview is a huge shout out to the team creator. It is going to be Pokey Sports and his uh, Discord community. They actually sent in the team. He made a video on it. So if you want the Pokey Pace, I will be linking his channel and the video down in the description below. Huge shout out to them. Pokey Sports have been grinding out content and making content for a good bit. So always got to shout them out whenever I can. But they're going to go Mouse Hold. They're going to go Golden Go as their lead, which I don't mind too much. I mean, screens. We can set up the light screen. I could also just hard swap, but I'm thinking of doing. So I think Light Screen's going to be our play. I mean, he could pop bomb me. He could definitely pop bomb me. But who should I swap into? Chiyu, most likely, right? Chiyu would be our best bet. So yeah, Light Screen and then just hard swap into Chiyu. Even though Grimstarl's probably going to die here to a Make It Rain. Or I could just Terrasalize him. I could Terrasalize but keep on the, on the field. Which I think I might actually just end up doing, right? I could just go straight steal, and you know what? I'm going to do it. I'm going to go straight steal, and I'm going to uh, hard swap into my Chiyu. That is going to be my play all day. I am going to harassalize my Grimstone on turn one. I don't want to die until I make it rain, so I'm going to say screw it. I'm going to say screw it. Cool. So I'm a Terra. Straight steal type to give us another turn here. 
Um, I would I don't mind using my Terra as long as I get off screens. I think that's just a great terrestrialized choice. But I guess we'll see in the long run, because again, screens screens are where it's at. They definitely are. But I wonder what Mousehold's gonna do here. I'm kinda scared of that Pokemon. Protect comes out from the Mousehold, that's totally fine. It's a weird protect on the Mousehold slot. Maybe he thinks I'm going for fake out. I think that's what he thought. But I set up the light screen. Is Make It Rain coming in hot here? I'm gonna Nasty Plot. Oh, I didn't have to waste my Terra. So Nasty Plot comes out here, and that's not bad because, I mean, I can still just Heat Wave and Spirit Break across the board. Do I set up a Reflect? Probably not. I think I just get after these Pokemon. So I'm just gonna go Heat Wave and... Yeah, Heat Wave and Spirit Break. So I'm just gonna attack. He is gonna opt to Terrasize, and I wonder what Terra type. It's probably like a Fire or Water. I highly doubt it's a Steel one. I highly doubt it's steel. And it is water. So straight water is going to be its best friend. It is Nasty Pot plus two, which is a little terrifying, right? It is a little scary. But we'll see what he wants to do. And no follow me comes out here, which is a little odd. Wow, we get a crit on that mouse hold? Yeah, we just absolutely rip in that mouse hold. That's actually big. Because the spirit break is gonna go towards the uh, golden go now, making it minus one, and on top of it doing it a little bit of damage. And he ends up nasty pot again, which is kind of a big mistake. I feel as that that's a big mistake, right? Right, I feel as that's a big mistake. You should have used your attack while you had the chance, because now I outspeed you completely, and I can get after you. Right? That that seems like a mistake. That seems like a mistake. So we're gonna see who he wants to bring out here. We have Light Screen up for a little bit, probably about five or six more turns, and I can set up Reflect if I want to, but right now, my Grimstone was just chilling. So let's see, Fluttermane is going to come out here. So Fluttermane, a little bit of a problem, but we do have the Light Screen, which I really, really like. So from here, you know what? I think I just go Spear Break, and I just straight up attack. I just attack you, right? I think that's our best call. He might just even protect the Golden Go, but I think we're fine with this. I think we're fine. We have the Light Screen. He can't Terrasalize the Fluttermane. He just stays in for a Dazzle Gleam, which I should be able to eat. Cool. Cool, so I definitely feel as our opponent really messed up. 100%. The double Nasty Pot was too much. One Nasty Pot is enough. He should have attacked us and got off some big time damage. But now you get no value out of our Golden Go. And we're thriving here. We're absolutely thriving in this match. Because Fluttermane can't swap. We get off a Spirit Break. It is now minus one. On top of that, it has half HP. And on top of that, even more, we have Light Screen out and about. So this match is pretty much wraps. It is wraps. We didn't even need to use Quackle Ball here. We might need to use Quackle Ball. He brings out the Iron B. We don't need Reflect. We don't need it. It's just a waste. It's just a waste for us to Reflect. So, from here, I'm just going to end up doing that. And I might just Protect. Honestly, that's my play. I'm just going to Protect my Chiyu. And the reason I want to Protect is because I just want to keep lowering their special attack until... Like, as much as we possibly can. Because I don't want to throw this match, you know? I really don't want to throw it. <laughs> I really don't want to throw it. So he's going to Icy Wind me down a little bit. We're going to drop that special attack onto the Iron Bundle. He's probably going for another Gleam, right? Correct. Correct, you go for another Gleam. I could actually just take it out Fluttermane, but that's fine. I'll double into Fluttermane this turn. So we hit the Iron B, special attack drop, big time. Spirit Break's just so good. But from here, I'm just going to go into Spirit Break. I'm just going to rock into a Heat Wave. He probably ends up picking up a KO onto me, and he, they just cancel battle. We'll take that all day. Match number one sweep, we didn't even need the duck. That last match was just too easy. It was too easy, but we're hopping into our second match, looking to get Quackle Ball out here, but they have a Trick Room team here. They got themselves Indeedee right here, or not Indeedee, Hatterene, alongside with Grimmsnarl, Baxcalibur, Torkoal, Amoongus, and Magnuson, which is a really cool Pokemon. So we kind of want something... To try to get after that Hatterene, right? Hatterene's a little bit of a problem trying to set up Trick Room, right? Because I feel like Amoongus might come out here. And if that's the play, I feel like going into, like, you and potentially, like, a Pokemon maybe like you. Let me see your moveset. And that's okay. I kind of wanted a dark move here. I kind of really wanted a dark move to hit that thing. But I could just go Quackle Ball and maybe just try to get some Moxie Boost and all that. Hmm, I could lead the Quack Ball. I don't mind it too much. We got the Aqua Step. We got all that good stuff. I feel like Grimstar might have to come out here for the lead, right? It's not too bad. Light Screen could definitely be, like, our best friend. So I am absolutely terrified of Torkoal coming in here. So, you know what? I'm going to go Chiyu. I am going to go Grimstar. And then from here, I'm going to bring Quack Ball. And I'm thinking either Scream Tail or Gothic Tail. Let me see the stats real quick. We got 105 speed, 161 special attack. And then for you, we got 
115 attack, 143 speed, but you're very bulky. You are very, very bulky. I'm still just gonna go Gothitelle. Yeah, I'm gonna go Gothitelle here. I just like having Gothitelle. Maybe should have led Gothitelle, because that Psyche could have just murked on that uh, Moongus, but I have my Chiyu for that. But I wonder who they're gonna lead. I feel like they have to get off Trick Room, right? I feel like they have to get off Trick Room. They have to. So Light Train's gonna be our friend. Like I said, we're gonna be using Grimstar a lot. Grimstar is just the GOAT. But they end up sending Grimstar out of their own alongside with Hatterene. And I feel like from here, it's just gonna be like a screen splay and all that. So I think we just double down to Hatterene, right? I think we just double down to Hatterene. I think we throw a Heat Wave his way, or I can just go Dark Pulse. And that might even be my play. Or do I Heat Wave? No, nah, I think I double down with Dark Pulse. I think I go Dark Pulse and I Spirit Break right into this thing. But chances are, he might have Fake Out, but I think he sets up a screen and tries to get off Trick Room, right? Probably his best bet. So with the Prankster ability, I don't have to set up a screen this turn. It would be a waste. I'd rather get the special attack drop onto that Hatterene if it does survive and is able to set up Trick Room. So I can always set up screens next turn. The Fake Out does come out here. So he ends up going for the Fake Out, so... Smart play. I wasn't sure if Grimstar was rocking fake out. The Spirit Break's gonna fly through here. It is going to lower that special attack, which is it. And are you competitive? No, you're not. I thought Hatterene could learn competitive. It might be able to. Actually, I don't think it does. But he ends up popping the Trick Room, and from here, I could set up the Light Screen, which would probably be my best bet, right? Probably be my best bet. Or I can hard swap into a Pokemon like you. Hmm. Nah, I'm just gonna stay in here with Chiyu. I think I'll just protect Chiyu this turn. Try to start wasting out these turns. Protect him, and I'm just gonna set up a light stream. So I think we go double screens. I think Hatterene goes after my Chiyu here. And we kind of just start wasting out these trickery turns. Because I'd rather start wasting them out now. Trying to get rid of him and go from there. So out comes Daz and Gleam. And Grimstar is attacking me as well. You double down to my Chiyu, please double down to my Chiyu. Do not make that protect worthless. You were double down to my, my Grimstone, so that protect was worthless. Could have gotten some value out of that. Okay, so down goes my Grimstone. Um, Gothitelle's gotta be the player, right? Gothitelle. Which I don't mind. I don't mind Gothitelle too much. I don't mind the Gothitelle too much. So I'm gonna go into it. We're gonna get ripping with it. And from here. Do I just heat wave? I feel like I have to heat wave. I'll just heat wave, and I think I'm just gonna throw a nice, lovely. Mm, I was gonna shadow ball. I do have Terra with a uh, Goth Tell. We have Grass Terra with you, but I don't want to. I don't want to do that. I'm just gonna go for the Dark Pulse, and I might just terrestrialize you into Fairy. Would straight Fairy be a good call? I think it could be, because then I could just get rid of you. Hmm. I'm kind of hoping he Spirit breaks my uh, my Goth Tell, right? I'm kind of really hoping that happens. And the reason I say that is because I, I get competitive boost. I would go plus one instead of being minus one. That can be big. So we need to really waste out these trick room turns, but it's kind of a pain. Kind of a pain to do, right? Trick room is just a problem. It's just a problem. But that's something that is going to fly here. Chiyu should be able to soak. Does. Cool. And please, please go for a spear break into my gut tell. No, you go for a hammer arm. Of course you have hammer arm. Of course you have hammer arm, right? <laughs> hammer arm on the Grim Style. Of course. Hammer arm on the Grimstone. Tire Blast is going to fire. Probably not going to KO, but still should do a nice chunk of damage. And I got to see how many turns is left in Trick Room. They put that thing down pretty low. Got to go into my Quackle Ball. I could detect this turn. Um, hmm. Of course this thing has Hammer Arm. Kind of screws me over a little bit. How many turns left in the Trick Room? Two. I knew it was two. Um, I just had like a first turn priority move. We have Aqua Step that would boost speed, but... Detecting might be our call. Just detect this turn and try to get rid of some Pokemon. Such as Gothitelle. Yeah, I can get rid of Gothitelle here. I'm down for it. Or not Gothitelle, Hat Hatterene. Because we're going to need our Quackle Ball for the back end. Trick Room's a pain. I would feel as they have like Torkoal in the back end. It would be a little bit of a problem. But I can't eat up a Dazzle Gleam. I really can't. Or Spirit Break. I simply cannot. I simply cannot. I right, protect the duck. He's gonna end up going into that. Can we eat that, please? We should be able to. 
We sat. We got a free sash, which is pretty lovely. Pretty lovely. I wish we had a double hitting move for double double KO. And now we can just shadow ball you down. So we are plus one. Um. Hmm. Hmm. We're just sitting in a very tough position. I feel like the only way we win this is like a double protect. <laughs> like we need this freaking to end. Because Magnezone's coming out here. It's probably sturdy, if anything. Um. Hmm. It's probably sturdy, if anything. Its speed's probably rather high. I gotta go for the protect. I gotta go for double protect, right? I got. I gotta land a booth. I have to land a booth. I have to land a double detect. Protect will land no problem, but the tech's gotta land here. If we can waste out Trick Room, I think we could be sitting in a relatively decent spot here. But we need to land it. That's that's step one here. We need to double. We need to double protect. So we get got the tell. Come on, quacky. Come on, duck. My man! Step one complete. Step one is completed. Okay. Now what do we do from here is the real question. What do we do from here? What do we do from here? I gotta close combat you down. Hopefully you're not sturdy. I'm gonna hope that you're not sturdy. I'm gonna just tear a blast this slot down. Gotta hope that thing's not sturdy. You got sucker punch, really? This thing just has all the moves to counter me. Every single one. This dang Grimstarl. Every single move to counter me. This guy's got it. This Grimstarl's got it. Close combat's gonna fly here. And is this thing sturdy? It is sturdy. Hurts his soul. Thunderbolt's gonna KO me all day. Thunderbolts, I'm dead. I'm dead. This glimpse trial was ridiculous. Match number two going to our opponent. I promise in the third match, we're getting the duck out there a little bit more and we're gonna grab ourselves a win. Tough match number two that we just lost. It's all good. We're hopping into a third match and I wanna get Quackle Ball out here and I wanna get some work done with it. Like I said, match number two was tough. Trick Room is always hard to play up against. And on top of that, that Grim Snarl had every move in the book to take me out. It had Sucker Punch, Hammer Arm, which you never see a Grim Snarl rocking. And then on top of that, it had Fake Out. So it was like the most perfect Grim Snarl to go up against me. But third final match coming at you guys. We're going up against a Chi Yu team with Garchomp, Gyarados, Serene, and then they also have Mousehold and Murko. Um, I am going to end up leading Gothitelle here. I kind of like Gothitelle just in case they want to go into Intimidate. So I am going to do that. And I think I'm going to lead it also with Screamtail. Actually, maybe not with Screamtail. If they do go into Intimidate like I think they're going to do, it might not be their play. So I'm going to go Gothitelle. I am going to go Palafin. I am going to bring the Duck in the back end because the Duck is the man. And then last but not least, I could go Chiyu or I could go Screamtail. Hmm. Who would I rather have here? Screamtail's not bad. But Chiyu's not bad. I'm gonna go Chiyu. We're looking to win this one. We're trying to grab you guys a winning record. I think the Duck can get some work done, so I'm all about it. One thing I am kind of scared of is going to be Murkrow. You know, setting up that Tailwind and all that. But having Palafin in the back end with Jet Punch, really, really valuable. Really, really good for us. So, we'll see how this one plays out here. We're kind of just hoping they lead Gyarados. Because if they lead Gyarados, you know, I get that competitive. I get that free plus two boost, which is huge. So, we'll see. Show me the Gary. Show me the Gyarados. Show it to me. Give me Gyarados. Rats. No Gyarados. But. But nothing. Um, I'm trying to think of what my play should be. I could Terrasalize and go into a Fairy move, which would not be bad. It would not be bad. And I think that's just an easy play for me, right? Go with that and maybe just hard swap. Or I could stay in here and I could just ice punch. I could I could just stay in for an ice punch. And I think that might be my play more, more so than anything. It's just staying my type. And just ice punch. What is your speed? What is your speed? Because I don't mind if Palafin goes down if he rips into his guard chop. 135. You might not be fast in stream. I think we just hard swap and save it for later. So from here, I'm just going to Terrasalize, I'm going to Terra Blast you down, and I'm going to Hard Swap and straight into Chiyu. Whew. I, should, I, I maybe should have just Ice Punch. I maybe should have just Ice Punch with Palafin. That could have been that could have been a nice play, but I don't know Serene's speed too much. And I'm not sure if it's going to be faster than my Palafin. So I lowered a special defense of everybody around me. I am going to Terrasalize, and if I can land this shot, this could be big time. 
They could also go into a protect EQ, but I don't really see that happening. I don't really see that happening. I, that would be terrible for me if he goes to protect EQ. Because then my Chi would pretty much be gone. Just for Swords Answer. That's fine. You're a goner. You are gone. You're dead. No problem. See you later. Let's see what Serene goes into for me. I actually outspeed Serene. That's big time. So they just waste a turn with Swords Dance. I feel like our wins are coming off of right now. People going for Swords Dance and Nasty Pots. That Golden Go in match number one could have got some work done on me, but it decided to go for two Nasty Pots. But he ends up just straight up taunting me. Maybe thinking I'm going for Power Song. I'm competitive Gotham Tell, so I'm throwing off our opponent. And we legit just get a free swap. We get the most free swap, and I kind of want to swap into uh, my duck. I really want my duck here. And now you're competitive boost to me? <laughs> this match over. We win this match all day, but I really want to use the duck, so. I really, really want to use the duck. How could I play this match hmm, with using the duck? I might just hard swap my competitive Pokemon and say, screw it, just to bring out the duck. Have some fun with this one, right? Screw it. Competitive Pokemon's getting swapped. And then we're just Heat Wave and Serene. Who I think actually might Thrasilize. Probably gonna Thrasilize. I'm messing around here. I could win this matchup so, so easily. But I'm having fun with this. He's probably so confused. Serene ends up protecting. That's fine. Maybe he's just gonna Waterfall my Gyarados down. I don't mind. I mean, it's not that big of a deal. Maybe I can get a burn. Maybe game could, uh, be like, hey, Jeans, here's a burn. And I'll take it all day. Give me a burn. Throw me a little burn action what we like that's what we like the game see the game rewards you when you're having fun the game's gonna re oh, of course oh, never mind i lied lumberry is here lumberry's here so he's gonna kill me with the waterfall i don't i don't care too much I actually go for an iron hand which is fine <laughs> makes me look like a genius makes me look like an absolute genius so from here i can go for another heat wave if i want to i could also go for like an ice spinner but thing is who's faster is the real question which one of you, which one of you guys are faster? 162, 150. I figured she would be faster. I figured she would be faster. I'm going to go for, I'm just going to detect. I'm just going to detect. I'm going to take a heat wave here. And we're going to see what they want to do. Probably terrestrialize the stream, right? I'll deal with that later. He's probably going for a power weapon to me. That's fine. That would be fine. So I'm just going to heat wave. He's going to terrestrialize into, what is that? Rock. Oh. Now I can go for an Aqua Step in the next turn, but you're gonna protect next turn, which is totally fine. So let's see, I'm just gonna detect here. Gonna have my duck chilling. We're gonna throw another lovely heat wave and maybe get some burns. Can we get the burns now? Burn on the Gyarados? Burn on Serene. Take it. We'll take it. Give me another burn. Don't let me double down on burns. Now we only get one. Okay, I'll take it. I'll take what I can get. There's Waterfall. Obviously, we could have won this match super, super easily with Gothic Tell being plus two, but we'd like to have fun with this. We'd love to have fun. And a drop kick. They're trying to drop kick me. So from here. Hmm. Quackle Ball obviously just aqua steps. Easily our play. Easily our play. It's just the aqua step. I think he's going to protect the Serene. But if you protect Serene, I'm just going to hit you hard with Palafin, right? That's cool. Okay. I'm cool with that. Should be pretty much lock it down, lock it in. GG's, right? So yeah, Aqua Step's gonna come out here from you, and we'll do more damage. Wave Wave Crash would do more damage into Gyarados, but is this gonna KO? What, would this do more damage than that? 120 stab, but it's not very effective. And so it's 60 plus stab 30. This actually Wave Crash, yeah, it does more damage. From the calculations, Wave Crash does more damage. Serene's gonna protect. Or no, they just cancel battle. Easy enough. Two and one winning record, making people cancel left and right. Nice, quick set of matches for today's video. Went 2-1 and one and finished them relatively quickly. Like, these matches were pretty pretty flowing through. And we made two opponents quit, which was absolutely awesome. We lost our second match due to a Trick Room team. Kind of did me bad, but at least we got to show up Quack with all pretty good in match number two, doing some big-time damage. And in match number three, we got it out there, even though we didn't have to. Gothitelle and Grimstarl could have just swept that match, no problem. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread the spots every day, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.